Hey there, welcome back. And uh, tonight I'm gonna have a quick look at Victory Roads. And I thought what I'd do in this scenario was just turn one, but uh, the first thing I thought I'd try and work through is a combat. And uh, the odds tables are fairly, they're not involved, but they are indeed, uh, give you pause to think about what you're doing. So. Excuse me, let's run through real quick on a, on a combat. So I've got uh, 41 factors here, or is it right? 10, 20, 30, 40 factors here, sorry, versus seven. So that's a, a rough five to one. With this game, you you round up or down uh, in a, to the advantage of the defender. So that will make it a, a five to one attack. And I roll a five. So uh, let's do, here, there's the dice there, right? So. We go over to this table here and we have a look. Now, oh, here's, and here's one thing that's important about these units. So see these little red uh, badges there? Little red badge of courage. Uh, that indicates an elite unit. And when you are attempting uh, an attack with an elite unit, that allows you to uh, make some choices over on the combat results table. So if we look at the five to one column, and we look at the five that we rolled, we can see that in the attrition t uh, column here, uh, the A and the D, right? We can see that uh, the, the losses, sorry, in the, uh, the losses column here, on the left-hand side, we have the attacker's loss, which is nothing, and the defender's loss is one, so they have suffer attrition of one. So we can flip this guy over. Oops, we can't really see what we're doing as we mess around with the camera. And then uh, in the tactical results, I see that it's a light blue E, which means exploit. So because I'm using uh, more than one, one or more uh, armored units, I can uh, exploit uh, in this phase. And in fact, I can actually, uh, with the armored units, they count as a half a unit, so I could exploit with two units if I had declared such that I wanted to exploit. Let's say, for example, I didn't, but there's another interesting result that's gonna happen here as well. Uh, this D1 or this uh, additional E, I can choose, uh, because I have elite units, I can choose which one of these results that's the same color as this guy that I wish to apply. So uh, down here, uh, I could, uh, if I roll down here, I could use an E2 or an E3. Uh, but I can use E3 or engaged. Actually, that's a different, that's a different uh, color. But there's, there's one, two, three, four different uh, colors here. This color here, I've got E, D1, or E. So I'm not going to take the exploit. What I'm actually going to do is take the uh, D1. And the D1 will mean uh, one more loss. And that will wipe this guy out. So more dead guys is going to be better than less dead guys. And then that will allow us, let me just adjust the camera here. That will allow us to uh, conduct an advance after combat. So I can uh, use uh, up to my stacking limit. I'm going to leave one of these divisions there. I was planning on doing exploit, right? Uh, I'm not going to do that. Leave this guy here to bolster the defense of this little stack. Uh, let go. There we go. And we'll push these three divisions forward into that hex there. So that's a quick look at a combat. So you have two, uh, two considerations, or three considerations. You take the attrition result. You then take the attack, the tactical result for both the attacker and the defender, and then you obviously have your choices to make uh, based on, on the color coding here. So it's a pretty uh, nifty little combat system, and it's very, very elegant and simple. Uh, well, I like it. It's cool. Later.